Fuck Halloween. No cold open today, folks. What's up, guys? This is the TMT Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website, Mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you've ever smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> So-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. Uh, you all right? No. Yeah, you don't look okay. Dude, I didn't. It's not even that I did anything. It, I, we got home. So it was Cash's birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, brother! Happy birthday! Yeah, thanks, we popped by. I was waiting. <laughs> I already said it before, but I should. I guess I should say it on the mic too. Yeah, it doesn't count unless you say it live. Yeah. So we we pop by. We hang out at his place for a bit. We leave early, eleven thirty. Okay. Get home at midnight. I'm like, you, you know, me being me, I'm hungry. So I say, you know what? I'm a. I'm just have like a little peanut butter sandwich. Throw a little milk down the hatch just to. You know? Ooh, okay. Warm milk? Not even warm milk. Cold milk? Yeah. Before you go to bed? Kind of gross. Yeah, kind of gross. On Halloween night, you should warm up a glass of milk. You know? Yeah. Well, I just I just went with a little milk. Okay. You know, just a, just a little bit of milk. Yeah, okay. Daddy needs a little yeah. milk. Okay, daddy needs a little milk. Just just something to put, to shut the stomach up, and okay. I wake up in the morning and I eat for real. Okay. I don't know what happened. Now, Grant, I don't, I don't consume too much dairy these days. Uh... So I don't know if just that little bit of milk, my stomach was like, what is this? But I, you know, like <laughs> getting ready for bed. About 15 minutes later, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> knife is going through my stomach. I'm thinking, what the hell? I'm shitting water, <laughs> like actual water. Not milk? No. I would assume it would be milk that you'd be shitting. No, it's like my stomach kept all the dairy and then squeezed out all the water. <laughs> it juiced the milk. Yeah, it juiced the milk. <laughs> That yeah. sucks. It juiced the milk. So all night? It, it was, I was on the toilet so long the f- on the first round that my legs went numb. Okay. And I it was you I know I kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> so you can stand up and fall forward and yeah. hit the shower door and die. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how they find your body. Yeah. Just shit sprayed all over the back of the toilet. And then Alina's in court like I didn't kill him. <laughs> yeah. His he legs went numb. Died. Yeah. His legs went numb, and or yeah, I don't know what happened. He shit all over the wall, and I was dead. <laughs> he deflated. I can't. Whatever. I was just sitting on the toilet playing this stupid mobile game because I had that feeling of the doo doo almost about to come out. Yeah. I tried to like end it. I had I I squirted out. I squirted. Okay. And I stood up and I wiped, and I'm like, okay, I'm good. Stood up and wiped. That's how out of it I was. <laughs> that's an that's an important note. Yeah, I was like. I wasn't going to let that one slide. That was an important note. You stood up and then what? I was so out of it. Like, I'm so tired and I'm feeling so bad. I was just like, oh. <laughs> oh. So, wait, you let the cheeks oh, no. smear it? I did like, like a, it was like a half Warshock stand. Warshock painting? No, no, I didn't. It, it, it started to get there. I did like a half stand. Okay. Wiped and then like I dropped back down, uh, you know, yeah. through my arm in the air. I okay. just popped it down for a second. Yeah. Then I got back up on the nice. toilet and. No, nah, I gave it another little wipe, and then I went. I washed my hands, and then I it just like got it felt worse. It was like a demon in there. It's like I'm not done. Okay. So I was like, oh, I'm not done juicing. Yeah. I haven't juiced the peanut butter yet. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even made my way to the candy. <laughs> and you know whatever. So then I go back to the toilet, and I'm on the toilet for a good. 40 some minutes at <laughs> afterward I've, i'm i'm juicing Alina not like she's passed out okay. <laughs> i open the door like you're on your own yeah completely. you're bending for yourself mm-hmm. you're on an island mm-hmm. you're like i just gotta make it through this yeah thing. okay I, I i crack open the door you're naked and afraid <laughs> yeah naked and afraid 
I cracked the door open, my eyes just looking through the slit, and I'm like, I just want to let you know I love you. And if I don't make it past this, you know, we had a good run. I just, <laughs> yeah. I I open the door, and I'm like. Help, help me. <laughs> dude. Help me. <laughs> no, she does. The, Please. Is the funniest thing. I open the door, and I go, Hey. <laughs> I have to keep shitting. <laughs> and she, she kind of wakes up. She goes, huh? I'm like, I have to keep shitting longer. She goes, okay, I'm going to go to sleep. And I go, yeah, for sure. And she goes, okay, bye. <laughs> and she just puts her head down. And I could tell she was out at that point. I don't even know the time exactly I retired. I was on the toilet so long. <laughs> it blew my back out. When I stood up, my legs were all numb. I was trying to get back to it bed i'm just like <laughs> this goddamn milk just blew my ass out sounds like you got your world raw just blew my ass out man <laughs> that's rough yeah and then i crawl back in bed and then alina wakes up she's like huh what happened? And I just said, I'm never drinking milk again. And then I fell asleep. What time was it? I have no idea. And then I, I woke up this morning pretty early and I just felt ran through. Halloween, yeah. Halloween, it's just exhausting. There's just no way around it. No. Whether if you go out or if you don't go out, it catches up with you one way or another. You eat too much candy or, I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's the only thing you can That's do. what it was for me. Yeah. I ate way too much candy. C- can I just say, I just should have drank. Alcohol? If I knew that was going to happen to me, I just should have drank. Yeah, yeah, true. So you were sober. Having tequila shits. <laughs> so you didn't even have the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> I went home early. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to bed early. Yeah. Because, you know, I was talking to Hunter the other day, and we were, we were talking about me being late, and he goes, so you're selfish. And since then, I'm like, you know what? I want to be less selfish. Mm-hmm. I want to be on time. Mm. I want to try to be on time. It's not fair that I do that to people. And I had this <laughs> today. <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> I'm having this whole. Thought. Also, thought that counts. Yeah, and then yeah. so what happens? I'm like, damn. And I'm get, I'm getting out the door this morning. I'm like, is it selfish that I had the milk? Yeah. No. You know, but I'm just like, I just should have got wasted. Yeah. Then it would have at least been funnier. Yeah, yeah, true. But now I just come in here with this like wet noodle, like, oh. Yeah. You looked horrible when you walked in. Like sad. Genuinely like yeah. sad. Yeah. And then you sat down and you were like, I brought candy. <laughs> <laughs> you the want most some? depressed anyone's ever said that. Yeah. You want some? I ate so much fucking candy yesterday <laughs> that I don't want any of that. And that's a bad bag too. I mean, it's not great. There's Reese's in it. That's really all that's exciting. Yeah. I bet you want the Almond Joy, though. I I mean, I did eat one of those yesterday. (laughs) And I like coconut, but I I bit into that, and I was like, why the... How is this still economical that they make these? Yeah, no, can't. They can't be making money off these. People don't buy them. Oh, they they do, man. Do they? They're called British, and they're dumb. Really? Yeah. British people eat Almond Joys? Yeah, they do. Almond Joy. Yeah. Oh, it's it's a joy. Yeah. What do you think they call it that? Oh, that's, man. A, that's the Beatles, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they call it that? I don't know, Ringo. I've got a <laughs> bullet hole in my head. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. I can't quite have any thoughts right now. My whole body is going numb. No, why do you think they call it an almond joy? So this is him right after he got shot? Yeah. Ah, okay, nice. And the other one on psychedelics and just not... Here, have an almond joy. It'll make you feel better. (laughs) 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 All right, all right. That's not funny. That's not funny. That's not funny. That's not funny. (laughs) That's not funny. (laughs) Oh, yeah, we got new merch, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) That's not funny. (laughs) New merch. (laughs) <laughs> Ryan's sitting here to make sure we promote this. 
And it's been 10 minutes and we still haven't done it. That's why we're firing these people. <laughs> why? So we could do what we want. <laughs> I kind of want to promote this. Okay, fine. Look, New look. merch, by the way. <laughs> New merch, by the way. Check it out. Look how happy I am. <laughs> well merch. rested. New merch, by the way. <sighs> that one's cool, though. I actually really like this one. No, I, Jim This is like an it. old like liquor store tea. Reminds Jim me killed of. it on all these. Yeah, Jim. You murder it every time. Like he literally ruined it. Yeah, like you stink. No, no, no. No, uh, no these are awesome. Um, I love that one the most. The blue hoodie. Yeah. And where can they where can we find these? Oh, of course, TMGstudios.tv. Yeah. Oh, uh, where the same place where you can also find all of our bonus episodes. Every single one. Yeah. There's like two hundred of them now. So <clears throat> This is one of those like yeah, I do want some of that actually. Yeah, this is one of those bags with a child lock on it, so we're not going to be able to get into it without a blade. <laughs> the whole episode. <laughs> I can't fucking. There we go. Oh, what are you for Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Thank you. Did you see the TikTok of the dad that's like way too pissed that he got no trick or treaters? No. He's like, it's fucking bullshit. I bought all this candy. He walks to the window. He's like, I don't see one human being out there. I don't get it. <laughs> so funny. Damn. And I was like laughing at it because Kelsey was like so pumped. Yeah. To get trick or treaters. Yeah. We put like, we carved jack o' lanterns. We put them outside. We made our house look so welcoming. Yeah. Opened the gate, put the lights on, and we got like two. Yeah. Cause we live in a just a boring ass neighborhood. Yeah, we we got we got one group of kids, and they were our neighbors. Yeah. Not and I I same we, ours were our neighbors. We had three bags of this. I gave them the <laughs> whole first bag. <laughs> just not even open. Didn't yeah. even open it. I know. Here. I was there. I was there. <laughs> but I was like, no, no, no. Let me give them the whole experience. Open the door. Throw it at them. Yeah. <laughs> It's your fucking, it's your fucking no, candy. The whole, the whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They're great kids. They're great kids. Yeah. They're actually extremely polite, and that joke is fucked. I will say this. So, two kids came to the door, mm. and <laughs> two of the three, <laughs> two of the three, three total. Yeah. Yeah. The two of them came together, and the first one, we're like, you can take as much as you want. Like, we're not getting many trick-or-treaters so we hold the bowl out we're like you can take as much as you want yeah and he like picks one thing and puts it in his bag and then the other kid goes up and just grabs like an entire handful yeah. and sticks it in his bag yeah and he says thank you and the other kid goes i'm not that greedy <laughs> walks away <laughs> like damn dude wow shade <laughs> not even shade yeah, just straight to his face yeah wow kids are ruthless <laughs> i'm not that greedy yeah just, he's like, hmm, fat ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, we know who's getting diabetes between us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, go ahead. Get a little chew time in. I thought Halloween was over. No, nah, it ain't over, man. I was really excited. Halloween's forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's depressing. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to load up. I'm just going to pick my load out right here. I don't think that's going to help your stomach. No, it's. Isn't this what caused it? No, I didn't, that's the thing. You don't know what caused it. No. Hmm. It was like a temporary food poisoning. That's rough. I, man, I don't want to be, I mean, I've already been graphic, so you might as well just go all the way. I mean, it was just straight bile coming out my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was dying when I was wiping, and like, I'm like, why does it look like I just like dumped like, you know, like rubbing alcohol onto a napkin. Like, when did I drink Mountain Dew? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why is it glowing? Yeah. Bile's scary. Yeah. It's always scary when you start like throwing up bile because yeah. you're like, I'm at the. End. I hit. Yeah, I'm at the end. I'm at the toxic sludge. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. like brain fluid or something. Yeah, yeah. After bile, <laughs> after bile, there's only there's only blood. Yeah, <laughs> that's all that's left yeah, that's, to that's give. That's it. Yeah. What other fluid is there? <laughs> Your body's just like. Well, yeah, yeah. Even the name is just bile. Your wow. body's like, you shouldn't be throwing that up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's the bile. You need that to. 
That plays a crucial part in all this. <laughs> the esophagus wants more. I don't know. Give it bile. I don't know if we should do that, man. <laughs> That's all we got. Down to the bile. Yeah. Wait. Speaking of that. Bile. Bile. That's why it's called that. <laughs> That's why it's called that. Once that comes, starts coming up. Bile. Bile. Wait, can I? I was still laughing at you standing up to wipe. Yeah, that's like how you just I was. were so out of it. You just like lost the order of things. Yeah, you pull up your pants and then take a shit. <laughs> like, wait, I didn't. Did I start with my pants down? <laughs> Did I shit my pants? I guess I should wipe. Wait, wait my pants are still up. <laughs> uh, hold on now. Wipe it up my back. <laughs> <laughs> just don't stop wiping. <laughs> Turn around, put your head in the toilet. <clears throat> Start washing your hair. Wait a second, Hold that on. ain't right. Hold on, that's not right. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on now. <laughs> Go in the shower, wash off your back, and <laughs> catch it into a cup. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Disgusting, dude. Shit into a cup, take off the top thing in the toilet, and pour it in. <laughs> Hold on, that's not... Wait a second. <laughs> you flush it, it fills with the shit water, you're like, wait, I shit already? <laughs> I haven't puked yet. You pull out a straw and like you're going in and then your lady's like, wait! <laughs> you should have been helping me this whole time! Yeah. You know, when I had that nasty sinus infection, I don't know how many months ago, this is, okay, I bring this up because you said brain fluid. Mm -hmm. So in my, what is it, What is this up here? Like, is this your, uh, Lid, eye. no, no, like beneath your, I guess that's your sinus? Yeah. 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 So I had, I had like some remnant shit in there. Like it was just like after like I was poop? Yeah. Okay. No. no, it was like mucus or something. Oh, okay. But it was after I was like done being sick. Okay. It was purging out of my head randomly, like pure water. Yeah. It was like yellow water, right? Okay. <laughs> so it was like This is the fluid episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the fluid episode. <laughs> so <laughs> we're talking about every fluid. No, 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 no. This was actually scary. I was like washing my hands. And then I was done washing my hands. It was like a movie. I finished, and I'm just staring into the sink for just a second, and just <laughs> it's this yellow clear liquid. Just it falls out of my head. So I'm you're like, like, I'm for sure dying. Yeah, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? I'm yeah. like, ah, that's gotta be whatever. The next day, I was working out, um, and I, I was like on the outside patio, like pushing some weight in the air, and, and I, pissing blood. Yeah, <laughs> and then like I couldn't feel my back. <laughs> <laughs> I just fell forward and rolled down the hill. <laughs> now I uh I was looking down and I'm like doing like a shoulder press and then it happens again. It's like liquid just like falls out of my head. I'm like, all right, this this isn't right. So do one more it happens to me one more time and it's like kind of clear. <laughs> when I type it in on Google, it's like that might be spinal fluid. <laughs> it's either mucus or spinal fluid. <laughs> so then I'm bugged out, and I do a virtual ER, or a virtual um, urgent care, not okay. ER. And I tell the doctor what's going on, and he starts fucking with me because he goes, uh, it starts like that, uh. No way. I'm like, bro, don't even play games. <laughs> He's like, well, it's either one of two things. <laughs> no, he goes, like, it's like genuine concern. He goes, uh, you haven't had any head trauma recently, have you? <laughs> and then I'm like, well, define head trauma. Like, my girl stuffs my face into the pillow <laughs> when she's pegging me. Like, what are you talking about? I have her slap me around a bit. Like, what do you know? And I'm like, what, what do you mean? He's like, oh, you didn't get into a fight or anything, did you? And then he goes, he goes on to insinuate that, like, I got drunk and I wasn't telling the truth. Okay. He's like, like, you didn't, you were not, like, drinking and, like, you didn't get into it with anybody, did you? Because, you know, it's no big deal if you haven't. Just, you know, I need to know. Be honest. Yeah. I'm like, then I'm kind of, I'm like, damn, you think I'd get into a fight? <laughs> I'll take that. Okay, yeah. You know, I'm a little well, you're bit. proud of it. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little bit like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I did get in a fight. Yeah. No, but there was like a good two minute period where he was really interviewing me about like head trauma because he genuinely thought, he's like, that that might be, <laughs> like he said that. He goes, because you know, at, at, first, that, at first description, that sounds like spinal fluid. That sounds like CSR. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, I'm dying. When was this? This is like some months ago. Oh, my God. Yeah. But I'm fine. I'm still here. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Or you might be in a coma. Yeah. 
I could be dead right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This none of this could be real. Yeah. You good, man? <laughs> well, three times I just had an accident. I just <laughs> the fucking. I was watching yesterday. We were talking about this yesterday, but uh, I watched a video of the dude from Good Good Golf. Mm. See that? I haven't seen it yet. <clears throat> so I, I people don't know that. Can I say that we're we're doing we're gonna do a video with them? Is that happening for sure? Okay, so we've been planning this forever, <laughs> doing a potential golf video with them, and they um, postponed it, like, you know, all of a sudden, like a month or two ago, because one of the guys in the group got into an accident, mm. and nobody knew what, what it was. They weren't, like, being clear about what exactly happened, so people were assuming it was a car accident or something like that, and he posted a video a couple of days ago, the, the guy who got in the accident, yeah. about what actually happened. Apparently, he was riding in a golf cart and hung his head out the side, and they were going over like those little wooden bridges from like one hole to the next. And he hit his head like on the like the wooden guardrail. And basically, but didn't really know what happened. He was like, oh, I think I just hit my head. Like wasn't apparent right away yeah. what had happened. He just was like, I think I hit my head. And the guy was like, are you okay? And he ended up playing seven holes after that. Doesn't remember any of it. But like was playing fine. And uh, had just like a really bad headache, and he was like, "I think I gotta go home. Like, my head r- really, really hurts, and I'm really tired." And uh, he goes to the, he drives like 40 minutes back to the hotel. The, again, doesn't remember any of it, and gets back to the hotel, and his head's in such excruciating pain. He's like, "I," he tells the people at the lobby, he's like, "I think I hit my head. I'm not gonna go to my room because I think I'm gonna die. I don't have health insurance, so I can't go to the hospital because I don't, I can't afford it." So I'm just going to lay on this couch right here and just like wake me up every like 20 minutes to make sure I'm like still alive. And the p- people at the lobby are like, okay, I guess. And eventually his girlfriend comes and gets him. His, uh, the pain in his head gets, just keeps getting worse and worse. And he ends up going to the hospital. He's basically like, all right, fuck it. I guess I just got to pay for this. It feels like I'm going to die. He goes to the hospital and uh, they do an MRI and his like, the left half of his brain is like pulled with blood. Oh my god! So they basically did that surgery where it's like release the blood out yeah. of your because otherwise, what happens is, is it just leaks down your spine and then you die if you don't like release all the blood. Oh my god! And um, so he and they're like, and he's totally fine, but they're like, you might have brain damage. We don't know. Like wow. you might get like seizures in a year or something like that. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty fucking crazy. Well, I'm glad he made it. Yeah, me too. But it's a crazy ass story, isn't it? Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. Well, so glad he's all right. Yeah, um, happy uh, dude. You say that shit about the. Yeah, I made that face at the. I think I'm gonna go lie down. Yeah, because um, basically, my dad used to work with someone who got a motorcycle accident. Same thing. His head was kind of ringing. He's like, oh, I'm tired, and he like went to lay down, and then. Uh, I think someone woke him up and was like, dude, you need to go to the hospital right now. You're going to fucking die. And then he's like, okay. He, he kind of like just made it. it was a similar situation where it was like, yeah, you know, if you kept sleeping, it's probably likely that you would have just died. Oh, my God. So crazy. Hey, guys. We want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, DoorDash. You've got back-to-back meetings, errands, errands to run, and chores to take care of. What's the secret to clearing your to-do list? A little help from DoorDash. Uh, you can get dinner, household essentials, and everything on your grocery list delivered. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeyes, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. That was Popeyes. Mm. Uh, along with restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. You can get snacks. Uh, drinks and other household items in under an hour doordash connects you with the restaurants you love right now right to your door i love doordash do you yeah it's easy to use and has all of my favorite foods ready to order at the touch of a button you don't say now is ordering difficult no ordering is actually easy wow yeah open the doordash app okay okay choose what you want okay from where you want it of course okay and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting wow i didn't know they had that yeah they do listen with DoorDash, you're not just getting the things you love, okay. okay? But you're also supporting the community you love, too. That's so sick. Yeah. And is this offer that we're about to give, is it for? Is it everlasting? It's funny you should say that. You've read my mind because I was actually just going to tell you it's for a limited time. Oh. 
And what is it exactly? Well, here's something crazy. Our listeners can get 50% off their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and you enter the code TMG. 22. I didn't hear that. That's 50% off your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code TMG22. Oh, I forgot it. <clears throat> well, don't forget because that's code <laughs> TMG22 for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. That's subject to change and terms do apply. You have to spend at least $15. If you spend less, sorry. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Speaking of head trauma, I'm glad Anderson Silva only experienced a little. Yeah. I was... So, yeah, tell me your thoughts on the whole thing. I was elated with that result. <clears throat> Some people thought I was, I was like, oh, he, he took an L to Jake Paul. I didn't care about that. Yeah. I, it, Jake could have been anyone. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to see um, my dad <laughs> take any more damage. Are you a damage. fan of him? Anderson? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Major. Was he the one that broke his, like, snaps yes. his? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he's like a legend, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know. I know he is. I'm just, you know. You know this is fun. for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but he is a legend though, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. He's a legend, you guys. Yeah. Cody. I know that. that. I just was making sure that everyone else. Okay, so my thoughts on the fight. People, so when I was, you know, uh, when we talked about the Jake fight before, and I, I promise I won't make this like the fight hour for too long, but just 40 minutes or something, but... So I was critical of Jake in the beginning, and I was like, no one's really tested him. And I, some people like misinterpret that as me kind of, I think, you know, I, I don't know. But basically, I, I think this was exactly the fight he needed to have to demonstrate that he um, has like a certain, certain qualities, right? Like... um. What's your instincts when someone puts the fire on you, you know, mm-hmm. like, uh, which he's demonstrated. He, he demonstrated a lot in the way of improvement. And it's, it's undeniable that part. Um, he got the fire put on him and he shot back. He had good instincts, you know, when he was getting traded on, he, he didn't like yeah. cover up and mm-hmm. then just shut down. He was still like trying to throw in the pocket. Whatever horse steroids and- Anderson was on, I need that. Okay. He ate some bomb. Yeah, dude. yeah, he really and did. And I'm like, at 50 years old, you ate that shit yeah. and kept it. You only got knocked down once. Yeah, I need it. Yeah, whatever you're on, dude. I'm like, I want that. That was the main thing I was really thinking. Um, I thought it was a great fight in the way that you got to see some classic Anderson Silva making Jake miss. I thought that was crazy. Yeah, yeah that was pretty cool. When he started doing that shit, we started getting cocky. I'm like, please. Not like this. Yeah. It's like you can do you could I know you did that when you were twenty eight. You are forty seven. Please stop that. Is that how old he is? Forty seven? Yeah, dude, he's forty seven. Damn. That's psycho to yeah. get in there at forty seven years old <clears throat> and fight a twenty three year old. How much you get paid? Probably a, a good ass amount. Good ass. Yeah. You know, they made sure they got those bets in. Who was favored? Uh Jake. Okay. By a lot. Was he? Yeah, uh, Silva was a decent under. It was it was entertaining, I will say. No, it was a it, Jake brought out. He offered some of the best Anderson entertainment in a minute. Yeah, and it's crazy at forty seven years old how his hands still work that good. Yeah, all his like subtle psychological shit. Like every time they pushed out the clinch, the way he would just push him on the neck, mm-hmm. and he was like, Jake would like tie up, and he would early in the rounds he was like jake let go let go and he's like smacking him on the lower back and just spanking him <laughs> let go let go of daddy yeah you know it just it was like interesting to see how all the all those gears were still turning and how even when they'd clinch anderson didn't shy away from like the uppercuts and you know just just staying busy that that part was crazy to see for an old man um a jake definitely like took a lot of punishment and showed like he he has it what I'm curious now is like, okay, his X factor is his knockout power. But he ran into someone who might have been on horse steroids, but it didn't shut him off. So it makes me wonder, how would Jake perform against a guy that's closer to his prime, meaning like another fighter mm-hmm. who's not older? And I, and I, honestly, I don't really agree with the criticism of like, oh, Jake only fights old men, he fights cans. That's literally every fighter. Yeah. Every fighter's early record 
they're not going out there and fighting like real you know great fighters in, in the way that like they want wins yeah you know their their coaches are trying to build their confidence in this and that so i don't really think that's like a a strong critique you can make of him but i think okay now he's had like four or five fights or whatever um six six and oh is it six yeah okay. my man is six and oh no, okay me. i know my man's record yeah yeah of course yeah <laughs> your boy <laughs> yeah my boy i think it's six and oh <laughs> Yeah. Can you check? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I was on his Instagram after. It it's it's whatever. I mean five and oh, six and oh. He's undefeated. I'm just curious to see now how he would do against a fighter closer to their prime. Because I I I think, you know, okay, Anderson's old. He's obviously great. I don't want to say this and take anything away from him, but Anderson was able to make him miss. And Anderson was able to take some of his punishment that he dishes back. Mm. So I'm curious to see how Jake performs against a guy who can take the punishment that he issues. And then dish. But can dish it back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because uh, he definitely, you know, he he showed a lot of class. And uh, it like, I don't, it's no skin off my back to admit that. I'm just curious to see. Now, I don't think anyone can be like, oh, he needs to fight a real boxer. He fought a real ass boxer. Yeah. <laughs> that fight yeah okay he, t- <laughs> he was in there yeah but i think <clears throat> to say he needs to fight a seasoned boxer or a more prime boxer i think that's that's a fair thing to to bring about now and i think that's really the only direction for him to go you know yeah and 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 his camp has done it right like scaling up the skill set you know mm-hmm. ben Askren, that was <laughs> that was nothing yeah tyron was a great matchup for him you know but th- this is what boxing is. It's like finding good matchups and finding ways to win. Do so you think he will actually fight a re- like uh you know someone more primed? Yeah, but it's still probably going to be a fight that's in his favor. Yeah, you know this was a great fight as far as um it was like a great measured test for their camp to see like how he responds to punishment, you know, and yeah. like how he responds to like being you know foot to the flame. Um. He looked nervous as shit going into that fight, yeah. naturally. You know, I don't say that to be critical. I think anyone would be. But, uh, yeah, I was I was very surprised that his right hand didn't put Anderson away. Yeah. And I was just glad to see that. Yeah, he lives in Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, the, fi- the fact that he fights out of Puerto Rico is crazy. Yeah, him and his brother. <laughs> it's crazy. Because you, like, don't pay taxes there, I guess. Yeah, you don't. It's a, it's a funny thing, right? What? Because like now Jake is definitely doing things with his platform to be like positive, right? Like fighter pay, yeah, which is undeniably positive. Mm-hmm. You can't be mad at that. Like yeah. he's he's taking head on something that the UFC and other people dance around. You know that they. But it's kind of like that's like a marketing thing, right? Right. So it's like, how genuine is it? Yeah. Is this what he does now? Like he's a pro- like he promotes fights. Yeah, he's trying to create. I mean, he has created a fight promotion that uh, was his fight promo yeah between him and anderson yeah yeah you know you hate to see it the school bully Smart. continues to be more successful <laughs> we do not even need to fucking we don't even need to look at that put that off i'd rather see the walkman lyrics again actually honestly. no dude you actually you handed him one of his only fight l's <laughs> he tried to go in there and get busy with you and everyone was like you're a fucking dork <laughs> He's he's not undefeated. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Although if he threw any sort of punch, he would have he would have taken that. Yeah, w. he would have shut you out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he would have shut you down in a second. Oh yeah, you know. But so violence is the answer. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it's the answer. I love how he gets up there and he's like, "I just want this." You know, anyone seeing this, you can do it. So like you could beat the fuck out of anybody. <laughs> you could start get you could get popular on the internet and like scam kids out of money. <laughs> you know. You don't have, like, fuck the Disney Channel. Yeah. <laughs> you can beat up an old dude if you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't. You know, you can you can join your local gym, get in it with, you know, get in an amateur bout and beat up an old man. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's not likely that you'll beat up an old man mm-hmm. for millions of dollars. Okay, can I just, <laughs> this is like some, this is like a horrible, but I was thinking like a stupid stand-up premise. Like, what? you can hate Jake Paul, you know? You can... You know, I don't I don't like the guy, but I won't shy away from talking about like his his um story as a fighter cuz like I like fighting. Mm-hmm. And it's like I don't have an issue 
acknowledging like, yeah, he's, he's getting better. He, he's on track to be good. I'm curious to see where he lands, whatever. I have to like the guy, but I will say the people that go, man, he just, he's just beating up old guys for money. Okay. Dude, half you dudes have had private conversation with your boys where you're like, how much to suck a dick? And some of you have been like, I don't fucking, I'll suck a dick for a hundred grand right now. So you you beat the fuck out of an old guy for like five mil. Okay. I don't want to hear it. There's definitely a number. Yeah. For sure. You got a number there. Yeah. Out of all the things, you, just say you don't like him. Yeah. Just, I just, you just don't like him. That's fine. How don't, much, how much for you to beat up an old, old guy? F- dude. <laughs> you want to say free. No, 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 not free. I'm not, I'm not a psychopath. Dude, put me in the room with any old guy. I'll beat He's the getting fuck. his ass beat. Yeah. I'll fuck an old dude up <laughs> for this right here. These Kit Kats and this Reese's. I'll beat the shit fuck out of an old dude. <laughs> up. I'll, s- I'll fuck him up. I'll fuck an old dude right in his ass. <laughs> I fuck him in. I fuck it. Fuck the ass up. I fuck his. I fuck his. I fuck. I fuck his ass up. I fuck him in his ass up. Yeah. I'm fucking in his ass. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'd fucking, fucking suck his, put me I'd in a ring with an old guy, him. fuck him in his ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cut, the character's not gay, sir, it's just, <laughs> he just wants to beat up an old man. All oh, right, I got it, okay, all right, yeah, I'm in there, okay. Hey, old guy, take off your pants. I'm going to suck your fucking <laughs> old dick and balls. I'm going to fit your old dick and balls in my throat. <laughs> Cut. Come on, man. What? What? It's not even close to the line. What's the line? I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. Oh, so sorry. Okay. 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 I got it this okay. time. I got okay. it. Okay. okay. Ready? Down speed. Okay. And action. I'm going to put your fucking shit through a spin cycle. <laughs> Cut. Actually, that works. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. I, let me go to it again. Let me get it. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. Action. All right. I'm going to turn around and put my fucking asshole in your penis. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze the head of your fucking dick with my tight ass. <laughs> Until you come. Until you come. <laughs> hey, come. That's another fluid. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we haven't touched on that one yet, so <laughs> I'm glad we got around to that one. <laughs> they call me the Sia Sucker. <laughs> Because my asshole is so tight, it's going to suck. Senior, the senior sucker? Seer. <laughs> my shit wraps you like a coat, and it's just going to squeeze you. Guys, make sure you're listening to uh, the TMG podcast every week. <laughs> That's every week. Every week. Every single week. Yeah. You can get that at TMGstudios.tv if you're craving a little bonus content. We do an extra hour every week. That's right. And uh, you can also get bonus content of Trillionaire Mindset. You can get bonus content of Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. All of that if you sign up for the TMG Studios tier. And then you can get all of our shows ad-free as well. Yeah. And don't forget the 8-Ball Special and Foul Tip. We got you on there too. Insanely chill. And we got some other shows on the horizon, which you're not going to want to miss out on. So... Uh, it's only going to get crazier. So sign up now and also get our merch. And if you can't tell already, this is an ad for ourselves. Because why not? Because the economy is crumbling and advertisers are losing money. So we have to advertise ourselves. Yeah. And uh, entertainment as we know it is fucking collapsing. Crumbling. Yeah, it's bad. We see it from from the inside. It's bad. (laughs) It's it's actually bad. It's bad. So sign up and, uh, you know, help us out. Let's do another ad. Okay. Right now. For back what? Back to back. Guys, this Got- episode is sponsored by Glitter. Hey, speaking of which, um, I mean, speaking of nothing related, but Jack Harlow on SNL, did you watch any of it? <laughs> <laughs> speaking of sucking a dick for a million dollars. I know. I saw clips. Uh, but I, I didn't. He was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. No, he's a good actor. He's definitely a good actor. Yeah. He's definitely funny. He's got a good sense of humor. Yeah. Um, the sketches were like all right. Yeah. I mean, you don't. But it was that. good. It was good. Yeah, I mean, you don't. You don't expect the, the sketches to be good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know. When was the last time SNL had a good bit? I mean, I I actually like, no, that's did, not a good did way. Did you watch the uh the 
uh, David Pumpkins or something like that. Do you know which one I'm talking about? With Tom Hanks. What is it? With Tom Hanks. Yeah, yeah, with Tom Hanks. It's kind of like a legendary sketch. Mm. And uh, they did it for the first time like six years ago. Mm. And it's not like, this is an interesting one because it's not like laugh out loud funny the mm. first time. Yeah. But you're like, the concept is really funny. Sure. And the delivery is good. And for some reason, it just like hits. Like it okay. works. So they brought it back and I don't know. I was just, I, I was like watching these sketches just kind of like, is, is this good? No. I think it is good. No. But it's a different kind of good. Yeah. It's not good. So how much to suck an old guy's dick? How I'd, much to suck Tom Hanks? <laughs> I couldn't do that. <laughs> how much to beat up Tom Hanks? <sighs> that would be tough. He's a good guy. He's a yeah. really good dude. Is he though? We don't know. Why, I mean, he. Why did Chet turn out that way? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's a good point. I mean, Chet could just be, you know, Chet could be Chet. Chet could be just like a like a, a soul got into his body. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. And they don't know what happened. Yeah, I think that's what they it probably is. put that soul in his body when like Tom did his Illuminati. Yeah, maybe that's ritual. what it was when he sold his soul, sacrificed one of his kids. Yeah, he was an objectively good guy. Um, I mean, I've heard great things about Tom Hanks. Okay. I mean, working wise, yeah. Like, no. isn't he kind of a legend around Hollywood because he like stays on sets to? Yeah, yeah, I've heard those. Yeah. Okay. To punch Tom Hanks, just punch him. <laughs> yeah, just punch him in the face. <laughs> How much? Just punch him clean in the jaw. Yeah. Like sucker punch. See, that's fucked up. He doesn't even see it coming. Doesn't no, know. He's nah, just standing there. No, nah, see. He's standing there like like yeah, he's giving an autograph nah, to like a sick kid. Nah. You could you could murder someone if you do that right. <laughs> well, I'm okay, so assuming you don't kill him. Sucker punch Tom Hanks. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> how how much did Jake Ten make bucks. on the Ben Askren fight? <laughs> Because <laughs> it's kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, whatever Jake made on the Ben Askren fight, that's how much I do it for. Like ten million or something. I don't know, man. That's like an irreversible thing. Yeah. If they catch me on camera doing that, I need. Re I need, dude. I need. <laughs> I need infinite money. I need enough money to like change my face structure to like get plastic surgery. Yeah. Imagine. Imagine that clip. Oh, bro. Career. Ender. People will be like, "What is he?" It's why over, dude. That? It's over for you, dude. dude. Noel, why did Noel do that? How did he sucker punch Tom <laughs> That's Hanks? So fucked up, Bruh. That frame. <laughs> oh my god! Just it'd be crazy like the Will fate. Smith slap times five thousand. Oh, dude, it'd be over. People, yeah, imagine people Tom probably... Hanks is <laughs> like, like you know, on the stage of an awards show, and you walk on stage. And just deck him. Drop him? <laughs> I'd have to become a boxer. I'd have to. I'd have to become a celebrity boxer. Anyone could take a chance at me yeah. if I had that kind of power. Yeah. Damn, smoking Tom Hanks in That's front so of the world. Sad. Be That's brutal. the saddest thought. Yeah. You're, a, you're an evil person. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm <laughs> it's so funny to just want to look at Tom Hanks and be like... How much a sucker punch this motherfucker? <laughs> well, can we play the other game where we talk about like how much to suck a dick? Nah, nah, nah. Uh, how much I to know? How much? How much to lay this guy out? I like Tom Hanks. <laughs> What's this with my fashion? Oh, oh yeah, that was another thing. So everyone, they liked our, um, they liked the vibe of the five year anniversary show. Yeah. Preach. So when we were talking about the Mister Tumnus shoes. Okay. You know, yeah. I, I, I described them as being Dior. Okay. And then you were like, oh, the tabbies? I'm like, that's what they're called. And the amount of people that went, sorry, Noel, but those are Margellas. Okay. You people cannot ever talk shit about C Cody's clothing. <laughs> the fact that you've been in the closet and you know what these Mr. Tumnus shoes are. <laughs> the fact that that's even in your like... Oh yeah, the Margella tabbies. Mm, shut up. 
Shut up. Damn, I, I thought you were gonna make fun of me. No. I don't I don't want to hear you guys bet. The fact that you're correcting me on the dumbest shoes ever. I don't want to hear you go in on Cody's attire. All right. Those shoes are pretty dumb. It's just stupid as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> nah, they are. And I have some dumb shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm saying I don't want to hear it because the fact that you are that sort of about fashion and you want to you want to you want to turn your nose up at me for not knowing what the Mr. Tumnus shoes are? Yeah. Get out. Google that actually. I want to see them again. Margella Tech. We don't we don't we don't need no high brow ass opinions on clothing. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Right. You can't make you can't make fun of Cody's tie dye glitter <laughs> combinations, okay? <laughs> Just cause Cody dresses like a, a girl in fourth grade. Hold on. Tie dye. Yep. Check that shit yeah. out. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah, baby. I already know. Okay. I don't want to yeah, hear. Yeah, they are right there. I don't want to hear it because you're sitting here making fun of Cody's tie dye, but yet you probably look at some outfit. I don't think anyone is, dude. What? Any? No one's make. You are. No, people definitely make fun of your clothes. <laughs> I can promise you, people make fun of your clothes. <laughs> you. Those little comments that you save. Yeah. Just go through and screenshot them. Yeah. Put them in a little archive. Yeah, I, I star them. They're my favorites. <laughs> No, I'm just saying you probably look at these shoes alongside like some, you know. <laughs> yeah. You probably yep. look at a pair of these and be like, oh, just this is such a statement because it's such a commentary on our use of it. Mm. Yeah. All right. They're bad. Yeah. Okay, you can't. I don't want to see you make, making fun of Cody's fucking <clears throat> third grade girl attire, you know. I don't want to see say ma- that. You can't I don't say wanna, that. You I don't can't wanna... protect me and make fun of me in the same thing. I don't want to see you making fun of Cody's clothing, okay? <clears throat> which looks like the, you know, which looks like clothing no, it's okay. worn you by that girl that, you know. No, it's okay. Like when you played outside and there was that girl who smelled like outside. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like you kind of like you you like you'd all be playing like with all the kids on the block with this one girl pull up and you're like, I smell like leaves. Why do you smell like out here? <laughs> and she and I dress like her. Yeah, uh, that is kind of my inspo. <laughs> just a little, just a just a little little stank on there. <laughs> I right, don't I don't talk shit about Cody's clothing. Okay, if you're out here correcting on the Marzella tabbies, we don't need it. Thanks, bro. <laughs> also, everyone wanted us to bone that last episode. Yeah, I mean, you were pretty low key about, um, you know, saying preach for the love, but we did get a lot of love on that episode. Yeah, we did, and it did feel good. Yeah, to do that, you know, and I like that we're back at the handhelds a little bit right now. I think I think handheld just changes it. Yeah. We just got to go back to handheld. You know why? Because everyone's got their. You know what it is? When when people put mics on arms, they get that like Gary V like. Yeah. They start gesturing like that. And I think that just like a weird psychological thing where everyone starts to feel like what they say is like really fucking important. Yeah. And I don't know what it is about holding a microphone where it's like, now you got to you gotta like mean what you say. And the monitors too. Yeah. yeah it makes yeah, it feel yeah. like more of a conversation. That's for sure. It took us five years, and we finally figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> How to podcast. <laughs> oh. It's like, oh, just don't. Don't Try do it so hard. Don't do what you did for the last two years. Yeah, exactly. Do you have general household work that you need done? Well, look no further than Miller's Tool Time. Miller's Tool Time is a full-service lumber uh, delivery and woodworking business that also does handyman work. Okay. That is available for hire should the entertainment industry collapse. <laughs> Here at Miller Tool Time, we're trained in all kinds of things, like screwdrivers. Mm-hmm. That's it? Okay. Yep. And, and what's the offer? Well, uh, we'll come and work <laughs> for a rate. Okay. What's the promo code? Uh, no code, just bang our line. <laughs> and what's the website? Don't have one yet, but <laughs> we're working on it. Okay. But we'll be available for work next year. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh, they'll be available for work next year. <laughs> <laughs> this is a funny post. 
If my best friend was a girl, I'd marry him instantly. He's the most beautiful person I know. Uh, this is not this is not something I wrote, guys. This is on Reddit. <laughs> he's the most beautiful person I know, and he's more attractive than all girls. But like, that's gay, and I'm straight. <laughs> I'm so glad we found your burner, dude. <laughs> That's gay. Yeah, man. That's how all bros feel. Yeah. Wish I could marry you, dog. Yeah. There's that. We'd have so much fun. That's that's like a funny uh uh like Instagram comedy premise that totally tells on yourself. <laughs> that one bro you definitely marry in the group. All the comments are like, huh? Bro, what? I don't know if there's a bro in my group that I'd marry. This dude verified that one it. friend that you're low key always thinking about fucking. That's also your boy. <laughs> that that one dude that like you would if your family wasn't so judgmental. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Bro, what? Is this a meme or are you good? Are you okay? Yeah. It's cool, man. <laughs> we support you. <laughs> what? No, it's not. Like, I'm, that's gay, dude. I'm not. I'm not. <clears throat> it's like you would, you know? Yeah. Sorry, I got nothing. That's fine. <laughs> that's the great part about handheld. You don't have to have anything. Yeah. I feel like shit, too, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm just, I'm you want to articulate why? Halloween's over. You just said that Halloween's over? I'm excited. Oh. Yeah. I thought you were getting so drunk last night because you were so upset that it's over. Yeah, that's what it was. I'm just, I'm just, yeah. Just booze. Just sad about the lack of trick or treaters, you know? <laughs> no, I'm happy that it's over. <laughs> My birthday is coming up. That's kind of cool. Thanksgiving. Yo. What? Oh, this is so funny. No, I'm happy that it's over. He's like, say it like, like, like he just went through something. It's a lot, man. Halloween? Don't you think? Yeah. No, I mean, you were, you, were, you were the one out there partying. Everyone's like worried about costumes and you got to, it's like a lot of effort and energy. I kept it. Did what you dress up as? Nothing. You didn't wear a costume at all? Did you have a costume? Yeah. What'd you, what was yours? We did stepbrothers. We did uh, the parents from everything ever all at Multiple once. Multiple costumes. Yeah. No, it's a lot of effort. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what my costume was. What? I wore hamster ears to John and Vinny's. <laughs> okay. You went there yesterday? No. Uh, Alina and I took Alex out for like a little producer lunch. Okay, nice. And uh, Alina just was like too lazy. She's like, I'm not wiping off the hamster thing. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, well. We'll make you not feel as crazy. So I brought the two additional sets of hamster ears. Oh, nice. And so we had a lunch wearing the hamster ears. Oh, okay. That's cute. Yeah, that's... And then they asked me to move my car, and I took them off. Because <laughs> I was blocking a an, like an ADA van. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me. It was a sick-looking van. Same, same. Hey, hamster guy, can you get your car out of yeah, the way? Yeah, please? that's definitely how it felt. <laughs> hey, little... Yeah. Hey, hamster dance over there. Yeah. Yo, Ass gerbil. <laughs> Move your car. The the dude whose car it was, he's cool as hell, you know. Just like, a, just like a war veteran. He apologized to me. I was like, that's right. Yeah, probably because he felt bad. Yeah. He was like, oh, sorry, you little bitch. Sorry I had to interrupt your stupid little lunch. Nah, yeah. <laughs> he sucked. No, you suck a bunch of him. Yeah, in his hover round. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he, he was sitting in his little four-wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> hey look it's the broke bitch music video <laughs> three hamsters dancing around a car nah he was, he was he was a cool dude his his van was was dope i didn't it like had the lifted aspect so i assume oh okay this shit can definitely get a wheelchair in here like it's got like the you know machinery for it yeah but it was a Kia. It was the same color as my car. Okay. We were matching. Oh, that's This shit was all blacked out. Oh, nice. I'm like, this van looks hard. Damn, that's dope. And then, yeah, they were like, hey, hamster fuck. <laughs> Move your car. What's the hamster dance? <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's like, yeah. Remember that dumbass picture of that F1 car? 
Ding 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 ding. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. What? Yeah. Crazy Frog. Yeah, but it was just that. Oh, okay. Sequence under the image of an F1 car. Oh. That was like yeah. a link on Ewam's world. You just okay. click that and then just yeah, watch. Yeah, probably have seen it then. That soundbite with that <laughs> image. So stupid, man. Okay, speaking of cars, I didn't even do that on purpose. Look at this NASCAR win. Okay. This is so ridiculous, man. Yeah, I saw something about this. <laughs> Dude. Ah, uh, you got to get the onboard. <laughs> yeah, run it back. Yeah, this is, dude, NASCAR commentary is so good. Phoenix, take a look at what he did. I have never seen anything like that before in my life. What is he? What did he do? So he needed points for the championship. You know, places one through ten. Yeah, I gotta get him. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, dude. So he needs two points. So it's the last lap. Keep coming. Keep coming. Hang on, man. What in the hell? <laughs> oh my God! Coming to the checkered flag. I can't believe what I just saw. Like, so I don't understand. Did he, did he purposely do that? Yes. Okay, so let me explain because they don't do a good job of explaining it. <laughs> they need, like, some Gen Z person to be like, if you think NASCAR is stupid, wait till I show you this. Yeah. This is Jerry Almondinger. <laughs> no, what it was was that he needed he needed two points uh, to, I think, win the championship. That's what I believe. But basically, he, he's down on points, and he, he just needs a certain amount of points to get the championship. So they're on the last lap, and he's he's stuck in tow. Like, all the cars are, like, one after another, so the slipstream is, like, pretty nailed down. And if you okay. get outside of that, you, you're going to lose time. Okay. So he, because it's, like, I guess it's, like, a short track. It's an oval track. He goes, fuck it. And he just floors it and does the video game thing. Oh, okay, yeah. And just, and just wall rides the shit <laughs> okay. to the finish line. So he just and he, did he get the two points? Yeah, he did. He jumped like four places. Holy shit! So like now, run it back. Now run it back. Okay. And you see how many cars he jumps ahead of. It's insane. <laughs> Gotta get him. Need two. So he needs two points, and he goes fuck it. <laughs> he hops all those cars, oh my bro. God. Keep coming, hang on, man. Look how fast that is. So, is he the first person to do this? I think maybe. So, why don't people do this if it works so well? Like, because of the money? It's like I mean, the car is shot. Okay, yeah. You know, like, you can only, you know. But now that that's probably going to, they're probably going to have to make a rule. Like, hey, <laughs> hey, can't do no that. No video game shit. No video game moves, <laughs> motherfucker. This is NASCAR. It's a classy sporting event, all right? <laughs> we got, got to have rules. Yeah. Got to have rules. Yeah, a lot of NASCAR 2005 on the GameCube with Chad <laughs> growing up, and uh, you can get away with it. I did that when I was eight years old. Oh, that's him? I never knew yeah. if it would actually work. Played a lot of... That shit worked, dude. Here's the thing. I don't know how many cars could survive that type of... But also, yeah, aren't you like... It's not like a serious risk. Yeah. It's like insane. But, yeah. Look at, dude, look at that. Run that back. Holy fuck. You cannot... Sit here and be like, pretend that you would have the nutsack to do this. Look oh at that. my god, <laughs> that's like Formula One Dude, speed, how bro. Fast you went? That's like easily 160 miles an hour, bro. Oh my oh god! god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's insane, dude. Yeah. You know, NASCAR started because of Prohibition. Hold on one second. Uh-oh. Cool. I'm going to get chew time. Actually, we should go into the bone. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, gang. Uh, Guys, thanks for thanks for bearing with us today. All right. We'll see you in the bone zone. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. This week on the bone zone. I'm talking about the glitter. It's sliding down my ass right now. <laughs> he don't care. Hey, can, I, can, I, can I get a bite? <laughs> Mr. Beast fucking came all over your guys' faces and you guys just took it. What? Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at TMGstudios.tv. <laughs>